Hello, I'm Jelle for Calisthenics Worldwide and today we will be reviewing the Gravity Fitness Pull-Up Bar. Let's get it! Alright, so as you can see, it comes in this bag, which you can carry on your shoulder as well. What we maybe would have liked to see is a little bit longer shoulder strap uh, so that you can easily take it anywhere. But to be honest, we had it for over a year and we didn't have the need to do so. If you would take it, you could just carry it like this to your car and then go somewhere and from the car bring it to you where you, where you want it to be. So let's get to setting up the bars. As you can see, here are the bars that you need for setting up the pull-up rack. We will take out the four parts that you need for setting up the bottom and then we'll explain to you how that's done. So this part you need for the bottom, um, they have these little two things over here which you can click inside. You take this one and then you are going to put it in here. Then you have to take two of your fingers to push them in and then you're going to click it. Then you need to do the same on the other side. Now we have to do uh, some aiming over here. Um, and then you have to click both at the same time as well. And then you can just kind of hit it down. And now it's done, this is the bottom. All right, so one thing about these bars that's nice are these springs. Um, they hold together the bottom part, which is really nice because when you're walking around with your rack, in your living room for instance then it doesn't fall apart and another nice thing is these little pins that you get with them uh, they're used to hold the bars that we're now going to put on the bottom while we're in the middle of building our rack uh, i want to explain to you that actually this part you can besides putting it all the way up here you can also put it up here so like this you have the possibilities to do dips on here. You have the possibility to do uh, rows on here as well. So that's super nice that you have these different uh, possibilities with your bar. How these pins work, um, they kind of fold like this. So what you do is you put them in those holes over here. You kind of have to aim for the second hole on the other side. And then when it's fully through, you just click it and like this, it sticks completely together and it won't get loose. And then you do the same on the other side. The rack weighs about 19 kilos and it can handle up to 110 kilos. Um, it's made of a high quality steel uh, and it's powder coated in a matte black color, which is by the way, uh, scratch resistant as well. The height of the rack is 192 centimeters. Uh, in between these bars is 60 centimeters and if you set up the, the rack uh, until here it's 120 centimeters high as well. 120 centimeters is the same as the depth by the way um, and the width of the rack is 116 also on the bottom. Um, another thing is that we have these rubber ends over here also on the feet you have those. They do leave a little bit of uh, a mark on the floor sometimes if you drag the pull-up rack. So we would recommend to carry it like this just a bit above the floor. Uh, this sometimes also happens with normal like chairs that you have in your living room so it's not really a big deal and also you can clean it right after and it's not going to be a problem. This pull-up bar, um, it has a diameter of uh, 38 millimeters. It's quite good grip. Uh, you can easily do your pull-ups and stuff like this. If you need more grip, obviously you can use some chalk as well. You can do straight bar dips uh, on here, of course, but to get in that position, you would have to do a muscle-up or a pullover. This is not as stable as I would recommend for beginners doing or learning even a muscle-up. Then it's better to stick with your pull-ups because it can be dangerous to, to learn the transition on here. I have done it before myself and I've seen other people do it, so it's definitely possible, but it's not recommended for beginners. You can do a lot of core exercises, your leg raises, your knee raises. You can put this bar in a different way and then you have other options as well. When you put your bar like this, this bar over here is low as well, but it's very stable like this. So you can do your pullovers on this much easier than on the high bar. Like this, 
you can actually do push-ups on this one. Another nice thing is that you can combine this pull-up rack with the gravity fitness uh, rings. Like this, you have some extra instability and you can actually do muscle-ups on these. So that's nice. You can train your false grip with these. There are a lot of skills. Rings are perfect to do for the upper body. So get to that. To come back to the point that we made about the muscle up, Gravity Fitness actually made a tutorial about how to learn the muscle up on these bars. So to kind of summarize, when you put the bar down as we did before, you have a much more stable bar so that you can do the progressions for the muscle up. And as well, you shouldn't swing when you try the muscle up on this one. Of course, as well, you can try them on this. Another point to make about these bars is that because it's this height, me and my friend are about like 180 and we have to bend our knees. If you want to do some extra core, you can bend your knees like so for some extra strength. Um, but uh, besides that, if you want to buy the mounted wall pull-up bar from Gravity Fitness, you can put it a bit higher. So if you're a tall person like this, this can be solved. Also like that, you can have a more stable bar for doing your muscle-ups. If you want to do weighted calisthenics on this bar, uh, it can handle 110 kilos. So if you weigh like 80 kilos and you want to do 30 kilo weighted pull-ups, then that's decent, but you would have to calculate that for yourself. Overall, after using this bar for one year, we are very satisfied with it. We would definitely recommend it. So check out the links in the description. For the rest, we hope you liked our video and we see you in the next one. Have a good day.